Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today is going to be a fun video, a little bit of speculation, talking about what we might be able to expect to see in the next update to Clash of Clans, likely some kind of winter update that they usually do. And this is just based on kind of the past updates we've seen around this time, and just kind of going off that, what is likely going to be coming in this next update, because I've seen some stuff online with people speculating about it. And I just want to make my own video and talk a little bit about it here, showing some replays on my base. That's all I can show because a lot of people um, from this war were testing and don't want to have their actual bases shown. So I'm taking the hit here by showing my base. But who? it's, it's all right. It's an old base. Um, but let's get into this video. There is likely going to be a seasonal update as we have every year, I would say. Um, there's typically something around Halloween time, and now as we get close to Christmas and the other winter holidays, they typically do something for, for that season as well. And um, in terms of what we can expect to see, a lot of seasonal stuff, I think that's typically what goes in these updates, is stuff that's temporary. We've seen the Ice Wizard. Uh, I think that was maybe a year or two ago they brought out the Ice Wizard, which is actually a Clash Royale troop, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and I, I wish they had kept it in the game. Uh, I know one thing they have kept from a seasonal type update was the skeleton trap. That remained in the game um, even after the Halloween update in which it came, I believe. So I don't know if we can expect to see anything new like that, but they typically at least bring out some seasonal troops, which are cool to see and kind of fun to mess around with. Um, and also along with that, they have the decorations, the Christmas trees. They brought out the uh, Santa surprise. That was like a spell one year. It was like a lightning. It uh, it dropped like presents, which did damage, which was kind of cool. So we should expect to see a lot of seasonal stuff. Not sure if anything will stick though. Um, and then also in these updates, they tend to make changes to what has already been added, but has is recent. So that's typically in terms of balancing. If anything, uh, any balances come, they're typically to newish features. Um, for example, Town Hall 12 came out and they pretty quickly made some changes. They added that third Inferno Tower. So that's something to think about is, in general, the stuff that's most subject to change is the newest stuff because it has not stood the test of time and it might not be as balanced as other stuff. So I guess the new things we've seen recently are Clan War Leagues. I don't know if they'll be tweaking there. Um, Town Hall 12 is getting a little older, as well as the Siege Machines. Um, but there could be some balancing changes, stuff like that. So that's where I would expect a lot of the dynamic um, parts of this update to be is in some of the newer content. Um, but we'll have to wait and see on that as well. I'd say we're not likely to sp see uh, Town Hall 13 or anything, considering how Town Hall 12 hasn't been out for a a huge amount of time and um, well I guess also that in new town hall levels they typically don't come out that quickly so that is unlikely and, and along that line I don't think we're gonna see a whole lot of new levels at the top town hall 12 anything like that I think they're mainly focusing on what's already there so I wouldn't expect a bunch of new troop levels or defensive levels but we'll have to wait and see I've been proven wrong before um, in terms of something I'd like to see, maybe some kind of nerf to air at Town Hall 10 and 11. And I know there's been stuff, there was a balancing update that kind of had a, something along those lines with the red air bombs, I think got a buff slightly. And there might have been like an air defense buff and hit points or something. There was a, a, a very slight um, update along those lines, but I would like to see um, something to kind of balance out a little bit more. Just so ground attacks are about even, especially at Town Hall 10, which I don't think they quite are yet. Um, but that's a small thing. I think Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 are relatively balanced. So I don't think we'll see any uh, groundbreaking changes in terms of the balance there. Town Hall 12, I think, is in a pretty good place. It's very difficult to three-star, as it should be a maxed Town Hall 12, thanks to that third Inferno Tower. But um, also, I, I'd say the last thing that we can say that we're pretty certain is coming is um, some kind of events. They tend to have winter events. It, it goes on throughout the year, but they're typically the best around this time. Maybe some nice one gem boosts and stuff like that. So maybe this video wasn't quite as in-depth as you hoped it would be, but once the sneak peeks start coming out, 
Um, I'll be having them on my channel for sure as soon as we uh, you know get the go ahead from Supercell and we know what the content's going to be that's coming out. So uh, stick around. There should be some more detailed information as we get closer to this likely um, winter update, probably sometime in December, uh, based on what we've seen in the past. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. Until then, Bisectatron out.